Hi, it's me again, Bill Patton with Visual Training for Tennis. And I just got back from teaching a lesson to Mike and he's a surgeon and he's quite skilled at what he does. And yet he's a beginner tennis player and he really overthinks it. Um, so funny thing happened. Well, not really that funny. Uh, he was hitting his forehand just fine but he was mishitting his backhand a lot. And so he naturally tried to kind of self-criticize, diagnose. He wanted me to diagnose the problem with his backhand. Uh, and I had to get into this. I went, you know, you're a surgeon. And so you uh, have learned to let the scalpel do the work. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna let, learn to let the racket do the work. So, you have unconscious competence at surgery, and that's a great thing. Now, what I'm trying to do is help you to move from conscious competence to unconscious competence. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep telling yourself that you're incompetent. So you're trying to stay in conscious incompetence. So anyway, so the way that we worked around this was I brought his mind back to the fact that there was nothing wrong with his stroke, that he just simply needed to see the ball better. So basically we focused on the ball coming out of the strings and trusting the brain's ability to reconcile the blur to get the ball in the middle of the strings. And then lo and behold, he's now centering some balls on his backhand and feeling good about it. But on a couple of occasions when it didn't work out so perfectly, then he started to judge himself and try harder again. And he made a comment about how much happier he is with his forehand than his backhand. So I, you know, I had to turn that around and say, so you're happy that you're getting better at tracking the ball into the middle of your strings. You're in the process of improving that. And so that kind of had to redirect his brain there a little bit. But this is part of why there's a strong psychological component to visual training for tennis because really it gets into uh, the mind-body connection and that how that plays out in your visual experience of the ball. So as a result of you know just having fun with it and, and learning to see the ball by scanning, then tracking, then he did a lot better and he was happier and had more fun and it was a very successful lesson. So he went away and perform, is gonna perform a surgery soon and I hope that that really goes well. But anyway, main point being that people have a tendency to overthink and then that clouds their vision and then they perform more poorly and they go down the tubes pretty quickly. But if you can bring them back to their senses, back to their vision, then you can be more successful as a player, yourself, and as a coach. So what I have for you is some links down below. So you're gonna get an opportunity to get the top three most common and catastrophic visual errors for free. All I need is your name and your email address, but there you just follow that link. There's a little introductory video and it'll take you to that. Then also, then there's a one-time offer for the Visual Training for Tennis course, which is a collection of over 30 videos that are generally in the three to seven minute range. So they're very consumable and they have very concise ideas, well explained, even better explanations than these little, little videos that I'm doing every once in a while. So, you know, really took some time to edit those well and make sure that there's some incredible content and very useful. So anyway, uh, scroll down, make sure that you, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe to the channel and like the video and then more people will see it. And I thank you for that. And so thanks for watching.